In today's video, I'm going to help you farm lead and show you some good locations to get it if you guys are struggling. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more content like this in the future and let's get into it. First area we are going to go to is Green Country Lodge and this is perfect for anyone that's just starting out because it's right near the overseer's camp. So as you guys start heading towards the car park, you are going to see this little area here. You're going to head straight through and to the left, there is going to be a gym. There is going to be a rad roach on the wall and you're obviously going to have some mole rats nearby. Just make sure you kill them and you are going to get one, two, three, four, five and a six. And you're also going to get a little dumbbell here and then you are going to get one just there. As soon as you guys have picked all of that up, loot everything else nearby. There is some more paint cans and stuff like that you can use. That can also help you with lead. So we are going to head on towards this direction and we are going to go to a workbench. And this is going to help us massively because we are going to be able to fast travel because we are now got too much weight on us to be able to fast travel at all. So this workbench is just down the street, which is perfect. So we can get rid of this and get the lead. As you can see, that was a fairly easy one. And we're going to end up with around 50 lead. And there's more ways that you guys can get some better benefits from this as well because you can pick up different random scrap that's also around the area so 51 lead two oil and two steel that's absolutely amazing from a quick farm the next area we're going to go to isn't far from vault 76 and it's called the kill box as you can see right here there's a few different areas you might want to go and visit some decent loot in these areas also i suggest you search the maze in this area you can get some pretty good stuff from here very early on and we're going to go to the kill box and what way we are going to go is you're going to head towards this area right here there's going to be quite a few different blood eagles around here so just be very very careful and you are going to jump over to this wall and you're going to climb over once you have killed most of the blood eagles you are going to head in this direction and you sometimes can get a raider power armor that actually stands here so that's another good thing but we are going to come to this area right here and you can see there's a lot more dumbbells and weights this is another really really good one it's fairly easy to do and you can get it fairly really early as well so then we are going to head down and we are going to go to the left here and there should be a workbench right along here which is perfect get rid of that and we have just got another massive amount of lead this is another very good location it's very well known it's called the sludge works and you have to come here for some of your companion quests anyway so if you guys run through here there will be a lot of blood eagles yet again just take them out and what you guys are looking for as soon as you come through this entrance is this little staircase jump over here and you will see they've made a little makeshift type of workout area so you want to collect this so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and we're going to break this down so we got 41 lead just from that which is absolutely immense a really really good one to do this next one is another great one it's charleston fire department and you are going to head from the front door here and to your left you'll see the overseer's box we're going to run through this is where you take your test and then to the right you are going to see all of these weights just waiting for you to pick up so you can see we've got four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and there should be some just behind this door right here 13 14 15 and then we're going to wobble ourselves over to the workbench so we can get rid of all of this lead so just watch out for these protectrons they are very clumsy and we're going to go scrap this and 79 lead from this farm this next location is another great one so it's called the monorail elevator and what you guys are going to, want to make sure you have got is a scrap kit because you can get overweight very very easily we're going to head up this little dirt road and what we are looking for is a break in the fence and to the right of that should be the lift entrance we are going to go to the third floor and that is going to help us find all of this amazing amount of leads so let's go straight up once at the top of here what we are going to do is run up in this direction just be careful don't get too carried away because there is little gaps if you notice and you can fall off we're going to run through this tram there's quite a few good items here so if you guys want to pick it up sometimes there's some good spawns you never know just always double check as you're running through 
run here and you can see we can get weights we can get cement and this one is absolutely amazing and it's a very very good one if you guys are looking for more iron and um, more lead and cement as well at the same time so two birds one stone we like that and let's pick up all of this cement here all of this weight perfect and that one there that one there that one there great and then these ones just right here as well as all of this cement great so now we've got all of that we, what we are going to do is we are going to use the scrap kit and we got 70 concrete 80 lead that's absolutely insane just from one spot this next location is called lucky hole mine and for me this is probably the cream of the crop this is probably the best one you can do to farm any lead so you are going to find some cultists in this area, but what we are going to do is head straight towards the mine entrance. So as we enter this area, we are going to make sure that we've got our power armor equipped. And this is the excavator power armor. If you guys haven't got this, this gives you four times the amount of ore that you find across the wasteland. I have got a guide on my channel, so make sure you check it out. And what we are going to do is head in this direction. So in this area, you will find a lot of cultists and a good chance of a few of them being legendary, which is great so you can get some decent legendaries from this also and we are going to turn a right here and you're looking out for the ore there's one part in this area i've already drained uh, but you can get quite a lot of ore so you get um you have one vein there you have one there and then there's one there but there's also one right here as well that i haven't actually quite cleared up you can take that but as you can see i get four ore every time i do that and then there's another veins just over here what you guys are looking out for is the little blocks on the wall with the little black bits that is the lead ore so once you guys have cleared out all of this area you should have a ton of lead don't forget to come around and pick up all of these different little items that you've got you obviously got cultist stuff you've got some nice little bit of law friendly things that you can read uh, it's a really really good way to get some cool stuff as well so make sure that you do farm this location now we have cleared out that tunnel what we are going to do is we are going to go to our chemistry bench and we are going to smelt down all of this ore which is absolutely great because now we should have a ton of ore that we just got and we should also have a ton of lead which is very very good let's just double check so we are looking for lead 950 lead on this one run absolutely crazy so if this video has helped you, please make sure you smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.